The start of a new week, and there's lots of sunshine from southwestern Ontario into the GTA until you get up to about Muskoka, Halliburton, uh, into eastern Ontario and Quebec. This is where we do have more clouds. There's still some sunny breaks, but not the full sunshine that we have around Toronto and the mild temperatures to go with it. 10 degrees headed for a high of 13. We're already at 13 now in Niagara and Buffalo. Uh, we're at 11 in Peterborough, 12 in Kingston. Nine for Ottawa and seven at this moment in Montreal. But here too, it's going to be a bit warmer as we still have several hours of daylight to heat the atmosphere. The winds are brisk, especially up to the north. And this is some cooler air that's starting to uh, filter. <laughs> Filter down to the south. I'm juggling my weather clicker here. So excited about this 13 degree high. 12 in London, 14 this afternoon in Windsor. Enjoy these mild temperatures. There's not just a cool down on the way later this week, there's also some rain in the forecast. A chance of showers tomorrow and then heavier stuff later in the week. Details still ahead. Your national headlines are up. Welcome back. Sunshine around the GTA. There are more clouds as you go north, as you go off to the east. Ottawa, Montreal, uh, unfortunately not quite as nice today, but still mild. That's the case everywhere. The winds are going to pick up. This is for the greater Toronto area, 18 kilometers an hour. They do diminish later this evening, but it's from the north. And that means as the sky is still clear early on, we'll see that temperature quickly drop after uh, sunset, reaching a low early in the morning at about three degrees and then with overcast skies it'll slowly start to warm back up uh, towards morning at 7 a.m. we're sitting at five these temperatures still above average even though it's not quite as mild as the 10 we have now and the 13 we're forecasting this afternoon seven degrees in Montreal it's 11 in St. John's but they have had so much rain over the past week or so, uh, we're expecting some big snow in parts of Manitoba. Zero currently in Winnipeg. Zero in Saskatoon. Five in Vancouver. Another big storm is going to come onto the West Coast, and that's really going to be a headline maker later this week. And you see the jet streak associated with it. Some very strong winds in the upper levels. And then we have this... Uh, ridging sort of on the east coast which is responsible for today's mild conditions now tomorrow and wednesday single digits for most areas and there is a chance of showers this system looks big but it'll weaken as it approaches the uh, lower lakes. So here's a look at our future cast model. Beautiful weather today. Tomorrow, still some sunny breaks early on, and then clouds and a risk of showers for southern Ontario. Still dry from Kingston and Peterborough into Ottawa and Montreal. And as we go ahead uh, into, well, Wednesday, uh, there are some showers and then here we go late Wednesday night this is the heavy rain that we're anticipating as that system moves in your forecast includes some cooler weather windy to end the week and then it starts to dry out but not until Sunday with a high of six degrees okay thanks so much Anthony and thank you at home as always for two Well, it's definitely a beautiful day. Let's find out how this evening and tomorrow will play. Let's bring in our chief meteorologist with a first check of the forecast. Good evening, Anthony. The sun setting on a spectacular November day. This is from just a few minutes ago. It's now getting dark earlier and earlier, but when you have a 15 degree temperature and sunshine, yeah, that was, and light winds, that was this afternoon in downtown Toronto. We're seeing more high clouds streaming in. You saw it there on our uh, harbor cam, and that's the leading edge of our next weather system that will bring the chance of rain tomorrow. 12 degrees still in Toronto, 8 in Muskoka, 12 in Kingston, 9 for Ottawa. It is going to turn cooler tonight and tomorrow as we have now that northwest wind, 15 gusting as high as 30 in Peterborough, 28 
close to 30. <laughs> Here's the overnight lows tonight. There is a below freezing temperature in Muskoka. Otherwise, we're staying above. And then for tomorrow, warmest down here in the southwest. Even though there's rain on the way, 16 degrees in Windsor, 13 Fort Erie, uh, 8 in Toronto, 8 degrees in Kingston as well. So tomorrow we have that risk of rain. Showers, however, will be very wide or very scattered about. We're not expecting heavy rain. And we'll talk more about that system and a much larger one moving in later this week. That's still ahead. Time now for our first look at the forecast. Kaylee is off tonight, so let's check in with weather specialist Noor Rafat. Noor. Hey, thanks very much. We'll talk about a spectacular start to the work week. We've been seeing a tad bit of sunshine that we've been missing for the past couple of days with all that cloud cover. We are also looking at a trend that will continue into the next few days, at least into uh, the next short little while, I should say. And it's these mild temperatures. Your overnight in Kingston, two degrees, increasing cloud cover as the overnight progresses. It was really the sunshine that I think many people uh, talked about today, and we were starting to see slivers of that roll into the Kingston area in the afternoon. Afternoon. Certainly brighter as you head west towards the Toronto region around Newmarket, Oshawa, and Ajax, but uh, uh, still uh, no shortage of sunshine in the eastern parts of the province. Temperatures, too, quite spectacular. Average high around 8 or 7 degrees in Kingston. 13 year high for today and even as we head into these single digits in Ottawa, Muskoka, North Bay, that's still well above average. Now we've been kept company by a bit of a wind from the north gusting at times to 20 or 30 kilometers straight from the north in Kingston and that adds a bit of a chill to the air. You certainly feel it when you're standing in the shade but with the sunshine a lot less hard to notice. Uh, we are expecting though that clear and uh, dry uh, sky to last a little while longer. Into the next few hours bit more of that increase in cloud cover. It'll mostly be happening into the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, there might be a chance to see slivers of sunshine in the Kingston region um, and into the afternoon as well. Rain rolls in from the southwest and pushing east. It'll be in the GTA around the afternoon hours, but it may not make its way into eastern Ontario until potentially Wednesday, if at all. Now, that doesn't mean that we're just out of the woods yet when it comes to the rain and the forecast. I'll explain um, in the full forecast. For now, your high tomorrow in Kingston, 8 degrees, mainly cloudy skies, and looking at a mild overnight as well. First weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. Money Matters is brought to you by Kingston Community Credit Union. Align your money with your values. Visit kccu.ca. We've really had a gorgeous Monday that's hard to compete with. Now we're looking forward to Tuesday and what that will bring. Well, in the Kingston region, unfortunately, we won't see as much sunshine, although if you're up early enough, you probably will be if you're heading to work or taking the kids to school. Uh, there might be some sunshine in the forecast, cloudy for much of the day, though. Good news is, though, still looking at these mild temperatures, you're high at 8 degrees tomorrow, aside uh, or instead of our usual 6, and your overnight hours also uh, mild temperatures. Now, that trend of mild air has been consistent the past few days in and around the Great Lakes, and here it is yet again tomorrow and pushing into parts of Atlantic Canada. Once again, with these double digits in St. John's, Newfoundland, 10 degrees in Montreal, we're seeing some changes here that perhaps some in the prairies are not too happy about. Daytime highs into sub zero conditions and that's because Saskatchewan and Manitoba are gearing up for a serious winter storm. It could potentially dump 20 if not 30 or 50 centimeters of snow for parts of those provinces in the coming days. It's a multi-day event lasting up until Wednesday. You're probably wondering why am I seeing this? I don't really live in the prairies. Well, that same system that's dumping that snow in Manitoba specifically is the one that's bringing this rain out in southern Ontario by Tuesday afternoon and event Eventually into the east. So we're still looking at dry conditions by tomorrow afternoon. That rain rolls in the Quinte West, uh, Tweed, and Trenton region into the overnight hours as we head into Wednesday.
Wednesday. We'll start to see those showers once again materialize into the morning and afternoon hours around Quinte West. Still looking at sunny breaks towards the Kingston region by the afternoon. Thursday, everything changes and we start to see those downpours rolling in into the overnight. A wet start to your Thursday morning. And take a look at this as we get some cooler air roll in. We'll start to see that mixing activity in parts of cottage country. Some uh, flurries potentially, if not mixed precipitation. Still going to be fairly mild though for those daytime highs, if not closer to seasonal. Now we are looking at a mild overnight, as I mentioned uh, tonight, for much of us across the board. Even those that are seeing some sub zero conditions should be feeling colder around this time of year. Tomorrow, the double digits extend into St. Catharines, a whopping 16 degrees in Windsor. And how about this? Ending off the week with mostly above average temperatures, a lot of rain on Thursday, showers for your Friday and Saturday. We dry up on Sunday, unfortunately, not a whole lot of sun. A chance to see it, though, back on Monday, your high, a seasonal six. Your Kingston snow plows has been released. Eight names have been submitted for voting. They include Blizzard Wizard, Collins Blade, Control Salt Delete, Plowosaurus Rex, Plower Power, the Frostinac, the Causeway Clearer, Winter Warrior. Voting closes at 4 p.m. next Monday. The contest was run for the first time last year. The winning name was Mernie Plower. Time now for our first look at the forecast. Kaylee is off tonight, so let's check in with weather specialist Noor Rafat. Noor. Hey, thanks very much. We'll talk about a spectacular start to the work week. We've been seeing a tad bit of sunshine that we've been missing for the past couple of days with all that cloud cover. We are also looking at a trend that will continue into the next few days, at least into uh, the next short little while, I should say. And it's these mild temperatures. Your overnight in Kingston, two degrees, increasing cloud cover as the overnight progresses. It was really the sunshine that I think many people uh, talked about today, and we were starting to see slivers of that roll into the Kingston area in the afternoon. Afternoon. Certainly brighter as you head west towards the Toronto region around Newmarket, Oshawa, and Ajax, but uh, uh, still uh, no shortage of sunshine in the eastern parts of the province. Temperatures, too, quite spectacular. Average high around 8 or 7 degrees in Kingston. 13, your high for today. And even as we head into these single digits in Ottawa, Muskoka, North Bay, that's still well above average. Now, we've been kept company by a bit of a wind from the north, gusting at times to 20 or 30 kilometers straight from the north in Kingston. And that adds a bit of a chill to the air. You certainly feel it when you're standing in the shade. But with the sunshine, a lot less hard to notice. Uh, we are expecting, though, that clear and uh, dry uh, sky to last a little while longer. Into the next few hours, bit more of that increase in cloud cover. It'll mostly be happening into the overnight hours. By tomorrow morning, there might be a chance to see slivers of sunshine in the Kingston region um, and into the afternoon as well. Rain rolls in from the southwest and pushing east. It'll be in the GTA around the afternoon hours, but it may not make its way into eastern Ontario until potentially Wednesday, if at all. Now, that doesn't mean that we're just out of the woods yet when it comes to the rain and the forecast. I'll explain um, in the full forecast. For now, your high tomorrow in Kingston, 8 degrees, mainly cloudy skies, and looking at a mild overnight as well. First Weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. Money Matters is brought to you by Kingston Community Credit Union. Align your money with your values. Visit kccu.ca. We've really had a gorgeous Monday that's hard to compete with. Now we're looking forward to Tuesday and what that will bring. Well, in the Kingston region, unfortunately, we won't see as much sunshine, although if you're up early enough, you probably will be if you're heading to work or taking the kids to school. Uh, there might be some sunshine in the forecast, cloudy for much of the day, though. Good news is, though, still looking at these mild temperatures, you're high at 8 degrees tomorrow, aside uh, or instead of our usual 6, and your overnight hours also uh, mild temperatures. Now, that trend of mild air has been consistent the past few days in and around the Great Lakes, and here it is yet again tomorrow, and pushing into parts of Atlantic Canada. Once again, with these double digits in St. John's, Newfoundland, 10 degrees in Montreal, we're seeing some changes here that perhaps some in the prairies are not too happy about. Daytime highs into sub-zero 
zero conditions, and that's because Saskatchewan and Manitoba are gearing up for a serious winter storm. It could potentially dump 20, if not 30 or 50 centimeters of snow for parts of those provinces in the coming days. It's a multi-day event lasting up until Wednesday. You're probably wondering, why am I seeing this? I don't really live in the prairies. Well, that same system that's dumping that snow in Manitoba specifically is the one that's bringing this rain out in southern Ontario by Tuesday afternoon and eventually into the east. So we're still looking at dry conditions by tomorrow afternoon. That rain rolls in the Quinte West, uh, Tweed and Trenton region into the overnight hours as we head into Wednesday. We'll start to see those showers once again materialize into the morning and afternoon hours around Quinte West. Still looking at sunny breaks towards the Kingston region by the afternoon. Thursday, everything changes and we start to see those downpours rolling in into the overnight. A wet start to your Thursday morning. And take a look at this as we get some cooler air roll in. We'll start to see that mixing activity in parts of cottage country. Some uh, flurries potentially, if not mixed precipitation. Still going to be fairly mild though for those daytime highs, if not closer to seasonal. Now we are looking at a mild overnight, as I mentioned uh, tonight, for much of us across the board. Even those that are seeing some sub zero conditions should be feeling colder around this time of year. Tomorrow, the double digits extend into St. Catharines, a whopping 16 degrees in Windsor. And how about this? Ending off the week with mostly above average temperatures, a lot of rain on Thursday, showers for your Friday and Saturday. We dry up on Sunday. Unfortunately, not a whole lot of sun. A chance to see it, though, back on Monday, your high a seasonal six. You're to check on those weather conditions. Our weather specialist, Noor Rafat, is standing by with the details. Hey, Noor. Well, after what was a spectacular Monday, I think many people are thinking just how good Tuesday can be. Well, uh, unfortunately, we've got some not so great news as we head into your Tuesday when it comes to the sunshine and I'll talk about that in just a moment. Still sticking with those mild temperatures though into our overnight in Kingston 2 degrees uh, just uh, into uh, the next few hours. We are anticipating less sunshine as I mentioned today. Here's a look with our infrared satellite. You can see a whole lot of uh, clear skies and really we started to see some of that l little cloud cover roll in as we headed into the evening hours. Our highs also quite remarkable. 13 degrees degrees in Kingston when we should be at around a high of 6 during this time of year, 12 towards Brockville, 14 in Trenton. And those double digits extend in Algonquin and Perry Sound. Some winds from the north also keeping us company. That added a bit of a chill to the air. They are starting to calm down. And so into the next few hours, it will remain a bit of a chilly breeze, but it's not as strong as what we were seeing earlier today. You can see with our pinpoint radar, still not seeing much precipitation on the map. The first little bit of rain is starting to trickle in around the Windsor, Michigan border. And really, that's not going to impact us at all come tomorrow. Tuesday morning, still cloudy but dry. And as we we head into the afternoon. Similar story. We could see some showers roll into Quinte West, uh, the Belleville region, but mostly uh, expecting dry conditions in Kingston. And maybe uh, Wednesday when we first start to see some of that shower activity, potentially even pushing it to Thursday. We'll talk more in the full forecast. For now, expecting a high of eight degrees above average yet again in Kingston. Mostly cloudy conditions and a very mild overnight. First Weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. Canada Post. Well, after that spectacular start to our work week, many people looking forward to Tuesday, hoping, praying, uh, really anticipating just a great of uh, a day as great as uh, today. Well, uh, there are some good news and uh, not so great news. The good news is mild temperatures continue. Your high eight degrees in Kingston. The not so amazing news is that we'll see a lot less sunshine, potentially some of it in the early morning hours. But we're going to stick with the cloud cover through the day. Although we are headed towards a mild overnight, so maybe that'll make some people uh, happy as we head into tomorrow. It's a theme that we've been seeing across large parts of the country though around the Great Lakes extending into the Midwest and into the Northeast also Atlantic Canada double digit temperatures in St. John's Newfoundland once again tomorrow potentially double digits in parts of southern Quebec not so great news for these people right over here you can see the highs have flipped significantly and now their daytime highs are into the sub zero conditions that's because there's a setup for a serious winter storm there's a lot of cold air pushing through this province of Saskatchewan 
and Manitoba, also into Alberta. And as this Texas low moves in into first Saskatchewan and then Manitoba, you can see significant snowfall accumulation. We're looking at potentially 30 to 50 centimeters of snow, blizzard-like conditions with those strong winds. Why does that matter? Well, it's that same system that's bringing snow to Manitoba that will actually bring rain to southern and eventually eastern Ontario. And that's that system that will bring at first some of those showers to parts of Peterborough and the Kawarthas uh, into the Tuesday afternoon and uh, a little bit towards the Quinte West Trenton area. Kingston, as I mentioned, really remaining dry for much of your Tuesday. A potential to see showers on Wednesday, although it will be mostly cloudy. We could see some sunny breaks for your Wednesday late afternoon. It's really Thursday that I want you to pay attention to because that's when that serious rain rolls in and yellow and orange, that's severe rain or heavy rain. And let's take a look at this. As the colder air moves in, we're looking at mixing potentially as well. So flurries in blue and in pink, a mix of both rain and snow. It will definitely be a surprise for uh, many people across the map that really haven't seen snow so far this year. Don't anticipate it will roll into Kingston uh, anytime soon, but we'll see how things progress. We'll keep you posted. Some uh, sub-zero conditions on the map around Muskoka. They'll mostly warm, especially as we extend to Windsor, nearing the double digits there for the overnight. Tomorrow, a high of 16 degrees out in southwestern Ontario. Not so much in Kingston. Eight for your Tuesday, nine on Wednesday. And you can see we're really spending much of the week at above average temperatures. The rain lingers on Thursday, Friday into Saturday. We dry up for the end of your weekend. Seasonal six degrees for the start.